The game is obviously dead. Wrong. Nothing fun about it at all. Wrong. You're a fool for playing the game. Wrong. But in reality, players have been just all left. Lobbies are still full. The game is still playable. Let's talk about it. Hey yo guys, your favorite Kage, Enigma Kage, bringing you yet another video. And to some of you guys, it's your first time seeing me do a face reveal. I do it here and there, especially in important situations like now. Guys, thanks a lot for the 1500 subscribers. We're only going up from here. As for the new people, welcome. I know you came here to hear about the state of Jump Force. I'm here to tell you my opinion on the state of Jump Force. I don't think the game is dead at all. I think that a lot of streamers are full of it, and I'm gonna tell you why right now. So, as you know, the game is dead, okay? That's what most streamers are saying, the game is dead. The bigger YouTubers are saying it's dead, but yet, why do you keep posting about the game? Because it's getting you views. How can something dead still give you 60 to 80K views? Think about it, guys. Negativity draws views. Just for example, you say something negative to a celebrity, right? They're likely to respond to the negative people than they are to the people that praise them every day. Because negativity draws attention. People out here uninstalling the game, what does that do? That does nothing. If I say right now, guys, I'm no longer playing Jump Force, who is that really hurting? The viewer? Or the creator, obviously the creator. My channel is built around Jump Force. For me to say I'm not playing Jump Force anymore is just looking for attention. I enjoy Jump Force. Guys, the state of Jump Force is fine. Yes, we went through a rough patch. We're all upset about the roster. That was one thing. Then we got mad about the DLC, the rematch button, all these features that should have been in the game. Guys, I know. I know. I'm not blind. I'm not sitting here, you know, sucking up the Bandai Namco. I don't get paid to ride the coattails of Bandai Namco. I'm not stupid by them. But what I will say is I'm going to support the game because I love Shonen Jump. The game is great, gameplay-wise. I'm not gonna sit here and act like a fool. You know, if you know me, you know how pissed I was at the roster. But let get over it. The roster's done, it's over and done with. We need to be pushing for a season two roster to give us a roster that we want. A lot of you guys are upset. A lot of you guys are listening to other streamers and YouTubers say the game is dead. It's not dead. If I can go into a lobby and go into a ranked match and it takes me five seconds to get into a match, that means the lobby's pretty full. That does not mean the game is dead. Jump Force still draws views for a lot of us. My channel is built around Jump Force. The single player aspect of Jump Force is dead. I will admit that. They didn't give any single players anything to want to go back to the game after beating the garbage story. That's their fault. But for people to go around Twitter and parading around saying the game is dead, it's just trying to spread negativity. I actually enjoy the game. I play with my friends. See, when you play with your friends, the game is totally different compared to somebody who plays the story mode. The story and mission mode, they kind of let everybody down. If I'm a single player, I will probably play the parallel quest before ever touching this again. I will go back to Xenoverse 2. But I do enjoy playing ranked sometimes very little that's why my channel is built around beating spammers very very little do i enjoy playing rank but a player match i love playing player match against my friends it's like a couple of us it's like maybe six of us we all play together and i would love to stream that stuff but i'd be having so much fun that i forget about streaming and i will be streaming soon on youtube and twitch links down in the description for my twitch but hear me out guys if you play this game, and I mean you play this game, do you really think the game's trash? In all honesty, if you had it in your hand, you grab a joystick, you play it. You know what I mean? You play the game. This is what you do on a regular. You play the game. You know the gameplay is freaking fun. It is great. The only thing missing is a better roster and a couple other features. Rematch mode, endless, spectator. 
These things should be in a game. It's 2019 for God's sakes. Let's be honest. Jump Force has issues. We already know that. We can tell just simply by we already getting three patches. This is like a patch nightmare. Every week or every other week, we're going to get a patch. Eventually, we're going to get our rematch button. But at that time, it will it be too late? Will everybody leave the game? I don't think so. These streamers are out here lying and saying the game is dead. They're returning to Xenoverse. <laughs> I'm going to go play no, this. No, I'm going to no, play no. that. But yet, when the views start dropping, you're going to come on back to Jump Force, right? Because people enjoy watching it. Let's keep it real. People enjoy watching Jump Force. I enjoy watching Jump Force. I enjoy making Jump Force videos for you guys. It's really fun for me. Figuring out new ways to beat someone without being cheap, you know? That's fun for me. And I know it's fun for you guys because you guys show me love all the time and I appreciate you guys so much. I don't think the game is anywhere close to being dead. Do the game have enough to make people want to play it every day? No, it doesn't. Within time, I believe so. I believe around May, we're gonna get the final polish of the game. By that time, we should have all the patches. We should have some of the wish lists fulfilled that they're saying that they're gonna work on a rematch button. That's on the way. And I'm also hoping they're working on a season two. I might make a video about what should be in a season two, but we already know who these guys should be in a season two. The ones that make sense. I'm enjoying the game. Do I want things to be better? Yes, that's why I'm supporting the game. That's why I'm coming out with tip videos. I had a couple of trolls that wants to live a negative lifestyle that comes to my page just to try to bring me down because I refuse to put the game down. The game's trash to you, guess what dude? Don't play, nobody cares. I don't care if you play or don't play, but I, I will prefer you to play and enjoy the game. I'd rather have a bunch of clean players playing the game than to have a bunch of spammers just trying to get up the ranks. You should be worried about getting better at the game so it could be enjoyable for you. The same guys are saying they don't want to play Jump Force no more, keep going back to Jump Force, why? Because the game's not dead. It's just to get more views. If you don't like playing Jump Force, that's fine. No one's forcing you to enjoy the game. Did Bandai Namco do us dirty? Of course they did. You and I both know they did. It's not, not a shock. Nothing to be surprised about. They did us all dirty with the roster. But you cannot say the game is trash because the roster is trash. Because the roster is damn fun. It's not one person on the roster that you will pick that feels like complete garbage. And yes, I'm including Blackbeard. Complete garbage. I don't think nobody on the roster is complete garbage. I give big kudos to Spike. They did a thing with the roster. That's why when I complain about the DLC, I'm like, ah, they want Biscuit, but I think Biscuit's gonna be awesome because I think Spike handling the roster is gonna be good. I think the Kill I Kill game is gonna be awesome. I have no interest in it, but for those who do, I hope they enjoy it. Does that mean you have to bash Jump Force? Like, I hate people that do that. Why are you bashing one game to uplift another game when you can have money to buy both games? Mortal Kombat's coming out. You think the Mortal Kombat community is coming out and coming for Jump Force? No. But the Jump Force community has been toxic for a while now. I honestly think everybody needs to relax and stop throwing around negativity because it's spreading like wildfire. Your negativity has ruined the game for people who hasn't even purchased the game yet. Maybe they're on the fence and they think about purchasing the game, but yet you are staring them away. Like, we don't need that. Me being a Jump Force content creator and being in the community, I love spreading positivity about the game. I'm not on Bandai Namco's payroll. Oh my god. And people who are, you know, older subscribers, you know how I, how I used to be on them. I used to be on them hard. Because in my heart, I believe that we deserve better. Yes, we deserve better. But what we got wasn't complete garbage. A season two pass will fix all that roster crap. The gameplay is great. Not having a rematch option was a little odd. I have never seen a fighting game that's never had a rematch option. So... They're working on that. They already announced they're working on that. Once they work on that, hopefully they can work on a tournament mode. And then from there, I think it'll be a whole lot better to give people a variety of, of modes. Nobody wants to keep playing 
ranked match. That's like the only thing it's worth going to right now. I know I say play player match, but to have a fulfilling feeling, you gotta go to rank. And I have the tips just for you. Check those tips out, because it can make you a better player. But if you ask it me, guys, my honest opinion, me being Enigma, the game's not dead. It's just kind of like on hold. Because a lot of people don't know how to take it. They're having fun. Then they're wondering, should they be having more fun if they have a better roster? Are we just settling for nothing? You know, like, people, are, I think, are having a, a, a bit of withdrawal. So they don't know exactly how to react to this. The game is fine. Streamers are doing this for the sake of views. The same guys that are laughing, the Afro Sin Jews, the Heavily Controllers, those guys are streaming. They're still streaming Jump Force. You know why? Because Jump Force bring in money. So whoever wants to talk negative about the game, let them talk. Don't get into arguments. You ain't got to defend Bandai Namco. If you're having fun, let people know you're having fun. Share gamer tags, share, share PSN IDs, make friends. You a five round game is so much more fun than a three round ranked match. That's my honest opinion. So the state of jump force to me is fine. I'm determined to keep the game alive. I'm telling you guys, I got more content on the way, and don't let nobody tell you otherwise. Because if you're having fun, it's okay to have fun. If you're not having fun, then there's more games you can play. All right. So guys, that's all I got for you today. The state is in a, the game is in a nice spot right now, but it can be better. You feel me? But anyway, guys, it's Enigma, and I'm signing off. Peace.